Oh, look. The palace is protecting itself with actual humans. Oh, God, they're so last century. So, uh, prophecy confirmed. I said that something would happen on the 27th. I'm, I'm only joking, really, because nothing much has happened. But um, there has been a big international cyber attack today. Some kind of vicious attack I thought might happen today. And in a lot of ways, an attack has happened today. It just wasn't a physical attack. It was a cyber attack. In fact, I've been reading about how like, lots of banks in this country have all sent their employees home because they're not allowed to use the computer system because they're undergoing sustained uh, cyber attack. And it's also happening to uh, companies in places like Russia and Ukraine, as, as you may be aware. And um, wow, I mean, it's, it's just stupidly convenient in a way. You know, a couple of days ago, supposedly the parliament was hacked and then today there was um, the beginning of a cyber security conference at the Royal Institute of International Affairs in Chatham House. I mean on the day of the conference like massive cyber, cyber attack just so they can basically talk about it and show what an important issue it is and everybody will be in total agreement because there's just been a, a really big attack and they can use it as a demonstration. It's similar when things suddenly start going boom when there's a Bilderberg conference in. It somehow, I guess, focuses the minds of those who aren't quite under complete blackmail control of the, uh, of the powers that be. I don't know. It's, uh, of course, when something suffers a cyber, cyber attack, I've been thinking about this. It's, it's quite an interesting concept, really. If you think about it, the National Health Service was under, you know, a serious amount of, well, it's having like a, a serious funding shortfall. And then suddenly they get a boon of funding, like several million pounds, or 19 million pounds, whatever it was, just because they got cyber attacked. So the NHS gets attacked, they get funding. Um, the police get attacked by people with knives in the street. They get a little bit more funding so they can deal with it. It seems that all of the institutions and all the different parts of the government, the government departments, they only seem to get funding nowadays if they get attacked through terrorism or cyber of terrorism, uh, whatever it is. Is that the way the world's going? Is that the, pff, people have an incentive to uh, leave themselves vulnerable so that something gets destroyed or something gets attacked just so they can make a very solid argument about how they've got a serious lack of funding and need some more. It's worrying if you ask me. Interesting, Michael Fallon um, did a speech at Chatham House today where he was talking about how um, all countries who are part of the NATO alliance should be uh, sort of pushed into the position where they have an offensive capability with their cyber equipment so that if any of the NATO countries get attacked they can all gang up and attack the person that supposedly attacked them. Of course the problem being is that um, when it comes to like evidence of who it is who's doing a cyber attack you will find that they don't really really know who it is they can just basically pick their nearest uh, most convenient enemy like Russia or North Korea or anything like that and then you'll have the whole of NATO and all of their cyber defense strategies offense strategies uh, basically just trying to take them out or whatever they do with uh, cyber attacks I was thinking a lot about it and I was thinking the attack on the House of Parliament isn't it like isn't that quite possible that actually the National Cyber Security Centre actually attacked the Parliament? Um, not offensively necessarily, but as a sort of a trial or a real world exercise to see where the pitfalls were, see where the vulnerabilities were, and to see how the MPs would react and to give them basically all a kick up the bum to say, uh, you know, be better, <laughs> better and, and more carefully contain your information with better passwords please because we don't want any of that dodgy information leaking out. It all seems very very convenient that uh, all these cyber attacks are suddenly happening at the time when them you know all the policy decisions are being made on cyber security. Very 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 suspicious indeed. It's um, really dodgy but you know only a cyber attack today thank god nothing actually blew up. <laughs>